Greetings my friends and welcome to Anderton's again. This is Catton. Hi there. I'm Chappers. And Catton's very excited today because this is possibly his favourite amp in the entire world ever. Quite possibly. This is the MK50 Mark II. MK stands for Martin Kidd. He's the main designer at Cornford Amplifiers. And this is their flagship top of the range model. <laughs> picked my uh, one of my favorite reverb pedals here the electro harmonics cathedral reverb that we've just taken a very basic hall reverb with some fairly low settings and we're running that on uh, through effects loop one here we go. So, so nice nice reverb not too overpowering uh, we're running it through the, the matching uh, cornford 4x12 which is a solid pine um, vintage 30 loaded 4x12 Perfect for this uh, head. used by guitar legend Guthrie Govan. Tell them the cool story about Guthrie Govan. Guthrie Govan, if you've not heard Guthrie Govan, he is probably one of the most complete guitar players on the planet. Any style, just jaw-droppingly amazing. Uh, he's been using Cornford amplifiers for many years. He's been using an MK50 Mark II for the last few years. And uh, Cornford have asked him on many occasions, can we build you a Guthrie Govan signature amplifier, please? And every time Corm uh, Guthrie's response is, well, I wouldn't make any changes to the MK50 Mark II, so what's the point in having my own signature amp? I'll just carry on using the MK50 Mark II. It's that Mark good. II. <laughs> 50 watts, all tube. Um, running on at the moment on a pair of uh, 6L6s on the output stage, but as with uh, all the Cornford amps, if you want to change those for any other 9 pin valve, you can. Um, essentially, a sort of a multi channel, multi output, multi effects looped choice. Uh, sounds complicated, but isn't. So, we've got a clean channel, volume, treble, middle, and bass, which you can then foot switch over to your overdrive channel, which has a gain bass, middle, treble and volume control, a separately foot switchable overdrive boost, two master volume sections which again are foot switchable, a presence control, a resonance control and on the back of the amplifier two effects loops uh, which are also foot switchable or can be set up so that effects loop one is your always for your clean channel or if, and effects loop two is always for your drive channel. We're sitting here going, wow, there's kind of not much else we'd probably need on an amplifier to make it a really, really usable gigging yeah, amplifier. Yeah, because you've got clean, crunch, overdriven, boost, and two effects loops. And two master volumes. And two master volumes. So every tone that you can get out of the preamp, you can do as your kind of rhythm and lead tone if yeah. you want to. <laughs>
I don't think that, that many people perceive Cornford to be a, a choice for a metal amplifier. I think people yeah. perhaps, they see Cornford and they, they put it with all the other sort of boutique, bluesy kind of, my dad might buy one sort of guitar amplifiers. And um, although it is a good blues amplifier, it does filth as good as anything. It does filth. I'm going to get a filth guitar now. Yeah, get a filth guitar. As I said, Cornford amplifiers are made in the UK and that makes them incredibly good value for UK based customers. Check this out, check out the price of this online and then compare it to anything by any of the, the big American manufacturers, especially the boutique manufacturers, and you will see that uh, Cornford pricing is incredibly good value. So, we're going filthy now. We've got a dirty pointing machine here. I've actually got one of these myself. Yeah. Great guitar, nothing wrong with it. We're putting EMGs into the Cornford Mark 50. We've got the gain channel uh, maxed out here. Scooped a little bit of mid-range out. Not too much, but a little bit of mid-range out. Tweak up the bass and the treble a bit. Maximum resonance on the cab. A little bit of presence. And interestingly, not full on the extra overdrive boost because that just made it too muddy, didn't it? Yeah. So about, uh, about a third of the way up on the overdrive. Yeah, I think the secret to a good metal tone is definition but not mush. Yeah. So not as much gain as you'd think you'd, you'd ever require. But check this out. Uh, anyway, enjoy. There's yeah. definition within that dirty, doomy yeah. It all comes out crisp and even, doesn't it? And I, and I bet the mics aren't picking this up, but the bass end of this thing yeah. is just incredible. It's got a fat bottom. Yeah, my trouser legs are physically flat. <laughs> While sitting so close, yeah. I might have a blood clot or something forming in my leg. Well, nice, we can all look forward to that on camera. <laughs> <laughs>